Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today I wanna to talk about something that's really important and a lot of people don't do it as much as they really could. It is using the built-in YOLO Live graphics. Now, when I'm talking about YOLO Live graphics, I'm talking about graphics like this that are built into the YOLO Live itself. They're actually built into every single YOLO box. And so it doesn't matter which one you have, you have these capabilities and these features at your fingertips. And I encourage you to dive in. One thing I see a lot of people really don't use enough of is pre-show graphics. Or if you're in the middle of an event, let's just say a soccer game and you got halftime or you got different quarters and you got that time, you can use that time to leverage the graphics that are built into every YOLO box to keep the audience engaged, to tell them how much time is left, play some music, uh, do an offer, do things like that. So here, let me show you, get, give you an example. Um, I have in front of me, I have both the YOLO, YOLO, the original YOLO box, the OG, and I have the YOLO box mini. Uh, we're going to go into monitor mode over here. And in the mini, I have a webcam over here. And in the OG, I have my main webcam um, split so that you can see me here. And you can also see me in the uh, original yellow box right here. So what I have done here is I am in front of my green screen. I'm pre-show. Let's just say this is the auditorium. You have a camera facing the auditorium or the, the, the podium at an auditorium. You're, you're going to have a meeting. 15 minutes before the meeting, people are going to start, you know, logging in, checking things out. They want to tune in. Um, they want to make sure they've got picture, they got sound, they've got internet, and they want to make sure everything's working. And I see this all the time. So typically for most events, I try to start streaming at least 15 minutes early. And if you have a Facebook event, they will actually let you start pushing early to the event. If you push late, they'll actually terminate it and it'll be gone. But you can push early to an event. So let's just say I've got something coming up and 10 minutes ahead of time, I'm gonna start pushing this stream. What do I do? What do I put there? Well, you can see I've got something set up. I've got some, I've got a video with music. So yeah, I could do that. There's some music playing. You should be hearing some music there. And then, so let's come back to me. Um, what I can do is I can use a picture in picture so I can show the camera over the video. And there you go, now I've got uh, my camera view sort of in a little ball window with the new picture in picture, you know, frames. I have a circular frame around this and that's pretty cool. And then I created a timer. So now I have the show starting in 10 minutes. And that way people know how much time you start this at 10 minutes in 10 minutes to it's going to count down to when the show begins. And then when the show begins, you go to, you know, the main camera. And this way, you've got some activity on the screen and I've got some music playing because music is part of the audio with the video. And if I go to my video mixer here, you can see local video, I can vary the sound of that audio with that video. So that makes it easy so that it's not super loud. It's just sort of something so that people know, hey, I'm hearing it, I can hear audio coming through my speakers, we're good to go, and then they can go get a drink or you know do whatever they're gonna do. Now, what else could we do? Well, you're not limited to one on-screen graphic. You can layer these things up. So I created another one here. What if for the pre-show you had, stay tuned for our awards giveaway. This could be like before the last segment, you know, or this could be in, be you know, after uh, a sports competition, stay tuned for the awards giveaway coming up. You know, the awards for the players, or it could be a corporate awards event. You know, you have that area down below where you could do this scrolling ticker in addition to the countdown timer, in addition to video in a window and a background playing music and video. So you got a lot going on. Let's just say it's halftime during a sporting event. It's uh, soccer and you got 15 minutes for halftime and you have some sponsors that are you want to give props to, whether they be band par you know, parents chipping in some money to do it or you have some corporate sponsors. You can replace this window with, uh, let's just go to the plain background and you can replace it with an animated GIF. 
and the animated GIF, which is that spinning ball, I just one that I grabbed off the internet. The animated GIF is like a still image with a clear, you know, space around it, and you can layer that over top of the background, and it's going to play like it's a video. So it's not a picture in picture. It's an actual graphic element. So right now I have three different graphic elements over top of the video, all playing on the original YOLO box. And truth be told, doo -doo -doo -doo, let's turn all of these off. Let's go back to me. Take this off, take this off, take this off. There we go. So now we just have me, but I also have over here the mini. And if you are at, uh, look at this one. If you are at an event and you are using the mini, you still have the ability to add countdown timer and quarterly meetings. So you could be streaming directly from, let me hide this. You could be streaming directly from an event. You could show the stage and people milling around. You could have some of that sound coming through because again, you have the audio mixer built into the mini and you have all these graphic layers and you could add another one and you could add another one. You're not limited to just using one layer. Use what you want, add what you need. And that is some of the great flexibility that YOLO Live builds into every single YOLO box. So you can see this looks really cool because you could you could see the stage or you could just have a camera pointed at the audience or down at the field while kids are getting ready to play. You know, uh, game starts at 7 p.m. And then you got a little clock over here. Hey, I'm pointing the right direction. You got a little clock over here and things are ready to go. And this provides a great way to get stuff up on your stream ahead of the show or in between segments. You can put these graphics up. You can have um, an external mixer with some music playing. You could just have the sounds of the field or getting prepared. If, let's just say you're playing music in the room and you're dancing to it or something like that. You're getting ready. This helps people get energized, become involved in the show before the actual show begins. And that really does help. You don't want to begin a three o'clock show at three o'clock because all the people who would have tuned in early you miss them and the people who tune in late, they, they don't know if everything's working. They're they have to, now they have to figure out where, why they don't hear anything. Is it in the earbuds? Is it on speakers? Is it turned down? Give them that extra time to figure it out by starting your show early and using the graphics that are built in to every single YOLO box that YOLO Live makes. Now you may ask yourself, what can I do with these graphics? Well, if you have a YOLO box, get it out play with it, experiment, because there's so much capability. It's not just that they give you a couple different types of graphics. Every single type has so much customizability. That's where you can make your stream not look like any other stream that is being done on a YOLO box. Certain platforms, they have a certain look to them. So when you see a TriCaster, the graphics built into a TriCaster kind of have a look to them and they haven't changed for over a decade they look like TriCaster graphics. Here, you can get in here and you can super customize what's going on so that your graphics don't look like anybody else's. I'll give you an example. So let's go in here. Image overlay is where you can bring in a graphic like the YOLO Live graphic done and it, it will go anywhere you want it to go. It'll be any size you want it to be and then you can set it to auto hide. Again, this is a great feature. Let me say done. <laughs> this is a great feature that YOLO Live just introduced and auto hide, especially for lower thirds and graphics like that is fantastic because let's just say I'm going to edit this one. I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to turn on auto hide and then it's going to add another one below that 10 seconds. Let's, I'm going to make it five seconds just so that it happens really fast. Done. Done. Now, when I bring up this graphic again, I'm going to talk to you. I could just be talking to you. I don't have to remember to reach down and turn it off. It's going to turn off by itself. Like you've got a producer working behind the scenes. That is a fantastic feature. With the image overlays, I can also wait. Let me go back with the image overlay. I'm going to go back and edit this one. Do do do. This could be a, a little live thing. I can put this up in the corner 
And again, auto hide. We're going to bring it down to five seconds. Done, done. You can bring that in. Hey, we're here. We're talking about YOLO Live. That logo over there looks just like the logo that's on my shirt. And maybe it should go away pretty soon so that I don't have to look at it the whole time. That's really cool. Let's create a new one. Lower thirds. Now, you have a lot of lower thirds. <laughs> and the best thing is there's so much customizability in each one of these. Let's just pick this, this one over here just for the sake of showing you. Not only do you get to change the title and the subtitle, you get to change the font. So let's just say I want something that looks more uh, funky, kind of handwritten-y. Yeah, that one looks good. Boop, 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 done. But now it's really small, so I'll just make the text bigger. There you go. And then I can change the title color. I want red text. I want the background. Oh, you know what? The background's fine. Now the subtitle font. Uh, I kind of want a handwritten -y looking thing for that too. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. Let's do it. Limonada. Da, da, da. Jenny Wong. Now that looks a little bit too big. So we're going to change that one, make that a little bit smaller. Or let's change it there. My name, or the name is bigger than the title. Do, 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 do. The offset, you can change, you know, how they look. Scale the whole thing. Really big. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, or you can scale really small. But you can also just grab it and move it around. Like you want it up there, you want it down here. Hey, put it where you want. And then, of course, auto hide. After five seconds, we're going to have this thing done. We're going to have this title that I bring up. We're going to have this title automatically hide. And I don't have to use my hands to reach down and hit the yellow box a second time. See what I mean? You're really dressing up your show. That's lower thirds. And I, again, like I says, all of these titles, every single one of them has so many different ways to customize the font, the color, the placement, the, the, how it looks on the screen, the size of each of the elements. Countdowns. Now there are two countdown timers, the left one and the right one. Um, the left one has that nice flowy lines, which is pretty cool. The right one has two bars. Let's, I, I already used the, the right one. So we'll bring that in again. And again, look at all the things you can customize with this. This is what I mean. Spend some time, dig in, learn, experiment, and play with your YOLO box to figure out what you can do with this, with this platform. Next up is titles. Now, titles is a very generic term. You have these four items. Now, your text here, what does that even mean? Let's select that. Your text here. You could use this for any sort of banner you want. It's not a lower third. Some of them are tied to the side of the screen. Some of them are um, have a certain format. This is really cool. Let's just say you wanted to offer a special 50% off with an exclamation point. Done. Now, I wasn't done done. <laughs> That font, hey, that font looks pretty good to me. You can make the text bigger. You can make the text, you can change the text color. I like red, that's good for 50% off. Text transparency. You don't want, I want the text to be bold, but you can, you know, affect how that looks. The background color, white, white looks good. The background transparency, whether you want that box there or not. Let's leave the box there. Corner radius, you can soften it, make it more like a button or keep it square. Horizontal padding how much space you want to give on either side. Vertical padding, how big do you want this box to be? I think, is that a good box? 50% off, 50%, yeah, whatever. Um, give that a little rounded on the corner there. I think maybe that's a little too much padding. Make that a little smaller. Dimming color, now you can see the rest of the screen has like a white haze to it. That's the dimming color. You can pick the dimming color. If you wanted to give it a purple haze, you could do that. If you wanted to give it a yellow haze, I, okay, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, if you want to give it a black haze, just to dim the background, now your graphic 
stands out a bit more. I'll show you more. If you put more, like now you almost don't have any background. It's just the graphics. So there you could really push this graphic. Now let's just say I wanted to be on the screen at the same time I'm on the screen. So I don't want to dim me. Scale, how big the whole thing is. 50% eh, off. We're going to do that. And you can move it anywhere you want on the screen. Not there. I'd recommend against that. You can put it over here. And done. So now, if I'm telling you for a limited time only, you can get 50% off every single YOLO box. Order now. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You can't actually get 50% off. But this is, <laughs> this is an example of what you can do with the built-in graphics if you're doing any sort of merchandising, any sort of sales with the YOLO box. Boom! You can have that offer up there. And you can see on the right-hand side here, I'm creating graphics and I'm just adding. I'm just adding more and more. What else can I do? Let's go back to these titles. Uh, I've got this welcome to the, yeah, skip that one. Let's do this text here. Another text here. Again, this is open to do whatever you want it to do. I mean, I'm not going to go through all the different features, but this is another really interesting little thing. It's, it's a banner, like again, for your 50% off or something like that, or live. If you want to have a, you know, really demonstrate the fact that your event is live, you could throw that up there. So you can change the text, change the font, change the transparency and all that thing. But another really interesting feature with this one is you can change the angle. You can spin that bugger around and have it anywhere you want. So you can have it up there. You could do, 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 do. let me put it in this corner. It, what you see when you first get the, oops, not too far. What you see when you first get these is not what it has to be. Only by playing with it can you get it so... By playing with it, you can get it to be what you want it to be. Like that. It was over here. I decided I wanted it over there. And that way you can really customize it. So, you know, not everybody's is in this corner or that corner, maybe this corner or that corner, wherever you want to put it, make it yours because all of these graphics help you dress up your streams and your recordings so that yours don't look like anybody else's. And you create a lot of value in terms of adding more information and having more ways to communicate that information to your viewers by leveraging the graphics that are built into every single YOLO box. Social overlays. Now, it looks like you only have one, but honestly, let's select that. You have more than one social overlay because first you could pick the logo, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and for anything new that pops up, Go grab that logo and you can put that logo right down there in the customize. You just click that plus icon and you go get the logo and put it in there. That's how cool this is. You could just customize your YOLO box. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to leave it on, uh, let's go to YouTube. Say YouTube and we go back from the logo and done. And you can adjust the text size. So notice that the text is getting smaller, not the logo. You can adjust the scale of everything. The whole thing gets bigger, the whole thing gets smaller. The two different sliders mean two different things. Now, you can actually get kind of fun here because let's just say you want the text small, put the logo big. Now your logo is way bigger than the text. Go the other way, text is really big, scale is really small, now your text is bigger than the button. Again, this is how you make sure your graphics don't look like somebody else's graphics by playing with these customization settings, customization settings, it's a long word, and that way you differentiate your content from everybody else's. Done. So now when I go live, oh, I turned it off. Here I am with YOLO Live on YouTube, and there we go. And on the YOLO Box Pro, there are also web URL overlays, which basically means you're bringing in a web page so you can use third party sources to create graphics. And then you're just basically grabbing that web page and putting it over top of like any other graphic, like any other graphic you might add 
yeah, it's you, you're not limited by what the yellow box can do. You're limited by what you want to put on the screen. So with that, this has been my overview of the awesome graphics capability built in to every single YOLO box. Take a look at what you got on your YOLO box, learn it, play with it, and make your streams your own. My name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.